<clears throat> hey, what up everyone? Michael B. Petty here. Um, I'm gonna get into a react of Amberlynn Reed's new mystery diagnosis video. Ooh, I'm loving the clickbait. It's amazing, it's orgasmic, it's everything we want and more, right? No. Um, but before we do that, I have an exciting announcement. I have new merch. That's right, I have new merch. And you guys have been asking for this. You guys have wanted some of like, my sayings that I say on shirts and stuff like that. And so I had a fellow hater re um, reach out to me and she is an amazing artist. She does amazing work. And I can't wait to show you some of the amazing things that she came up with. I am not the most creative person by any mean. I will admit that full heartedly. I can't draw to save my life. My drawing is extent goes to stick figures and i am honestly so excited to show you some of this stuff because the girl the woman who did this knocked it out of the park she knocked it out of the park but first i'm going to show you the designs and then ah, i'm so excited and i can't wait for you to see them so without further ado let's see some of these designs the first design we have is the i can't t-shirt this comes in a variety of different um, options we have the hoodie um, long sleeve shirt we have a razorback tank we even have a phone case leggings and another sweatshirt with the all over print it's amazing these come in different colors all of these come in different colors varieties different shades um, this is inspired this is 90s inspired so i guess you could say it's becky williams inspired um the first thing that becky's ever inspired i guess i love it she knocked it out of the park she did such an amazing job the next one the next design we have is the messy gay um this one is in green um i'm impartial to this gray hoodie with the green backdrop i think it looks super dope we also have another crew neck sweatshirt we have tights we have socks um, these all come in different colors. We have short sleeve shirts, um, long sleeve shirts. I mean, hoodies, I get, like we have it all. Like she, and, on, and she did this part too. She was the one who came up with uploading them onto the site, picking up the different um, designs, picking up the different colors. And she just, honestly, when you have an eye for this stuff and this is, this girl has it, it you, I don't know. I am just, I'm just, I can't. Slime green, messy gay. Yes, that's right. We also have the pink messy gay here. We have the tights, we have the all, over print um we have the hoodies again more socks i am more impartial to this one because it's kind of a nod to my favorite k-pop girl group uh, blackpink hashtag stan blackpink blackpink oh. in your area oh. Oh. so yeah again we have these in white long sleeves again and then the last thing we have is the messy gay in blue i mean i love this honestly I just came to her and I was like, look, I these are the two sayings that I like. These are the two sayings that I really enjoy. Um, I think the only thing I told her when it came to Messy Gay was I would love some kind of like bubble print that like looks like it's slimy, disgusting, because you know, that's the kind of Messy Gay that I am. And she knocked that out of the park. And then the I can't when I was like, look, if you can make it look cool and make it look like something people would actually wanna buy, then do it. Just do it, you know? And she came up with the 90s Becky um, inspired theme. And honestly, she knocked it out of the park. So I'm going to leave a link down in the description to my store and you can purchase anything you want, anything to your heart's desire. I, again, I'm pretty proud of these ones. Um, the, I, the I'm a weed. I'm just a weed trying to be a flower. I mean, that was iconic too. But um, these ones are pretty special to me. I love these. Look, I mean, even getting a Razorback tee, I mean, a Razorback tank, like, that's fucking dope, right? And the woman who designed this, her name is Ryan Klebon. I am hoping that I'm saying that correctly. She literally sent her last name to me phonetically. So if I can't get that right, then I am an illiterate, ignorant, buffoon so but she is an amazing concept artist she does a lot a lot of things this is some of her portfolio right now i'm going to leave a link down into the description about some of the different stuff that she has come up with i mean she does mural she does it all this is a true talented creative queen all about it love it into it um and i'm going to leave a link down to her website and i'm going to leave a link down to her Instagram. So if you want to check her out, give her some love, show her some follows. I mean, do all of that good stuff because honestly, she deserves it. And without her, none of this would have happened. Like real talk, because I am just, I am not good at stuff. Like I will, I can admit my shortcomings. Okay. And artwork, setting up stores like that. It's just not, 
in it for me it's just i don't have an eye for things like that it's just that's just how it is and she killed it ryan killed it i thank you from the bottom of my heart ryan for creating these things for making my ideas come to fruition because without you it would have never happened real talk so from the bottom of my heart thank you so much ryan so without further ado we're gonna go ahead and get into this react we got a mystery diagnosis um, we got grocery shopping and we got more makeup. I mean, every video is makeup. Now makeup is the new Torrid. Torrid is out. Torrid is out of style. We are just going full blown with the makeup now. So without further ado, let's get into this react. Hey guys. So hey guys. It's actually been a few days <laughs> since we last talked. And a few days, has it? Are and all that stuff. Huh, the so darkness around her eyes, about, guys. Checking in. As She's not looking see, good. My allergic reaction is almost gone besides this beautiful guy over here that i accidentally itched one night a part of me thinks that because she's so immunocompromised at this point because she's not taking care of herself she's not eating any kind of proper food i doubt she's taking a multivitamin i mean let's be real she's not taking any kind of multivitamin she's not getting any kind of proper nutrients through any other means she's eating a very processed bland food not even bland a processed junk food diet and there's no way that for, there's no way i mean her body is already pushed to its limit i mean i know how this is like i used to be i used to weigh as much as she did i weighed i mean i don't she's not admitting to how much she weighed but once upon a time i mean i weighed as much as she did and every little thing scared me i was scared of any cold any flu because it's like when you're already that big it's terrifying like so many people, like hundreds of thousands of people every year die to the flu. And when you get any kind of sickness, it's just like, fuck. Like if the flu can take out healthy people, imagine how it could take out someone like Amber Lynn. And that formed. So we're trying to get that to heal. So I know a lot of people were frustrated that I didn't give a diagnosis yeah. in the video. Yeah. And for me, I just felt like there was no reason for it. There but you clickbaited it. Like you literally clickbaited going to the emergency room. You asked for your audience to give a fuck. And then you left them high and dry. You didn't even let them what was going on, what the recovery is going to be like, what the prognosis is like. Obviously, you don't need to sit there and read out your your blood analysis to the entire world. But I mean, I think it's pretty shitty of you to use that to manipulate emotionally your audience and then to not follow through with any of it to not even give any kind of clarification you just say well i'm not going to talk about it like it's not then don't talk about it then you shouldn't have talked about the experience at all in fact you shouldn't have vlogged you shouldn't have vlogged you at the er you just shouldn't have you shouldn't have done any of it there are a lot of people who watch me who use my health against me i i mean you use your health against your audience so like what's the difference between us sitting here and speculating about your health when you use it as clickbait for views i don't like are you gonna really sit here and pretend like this isn't the exact response that you wanted you gaslit the fuck out of people then when they ac acted accordingly now you're gonna act like the victim shocker a typical AL alr 101 and this is something that's like I wouldn't say I'm ashamed because it's nothing to do with my weight. And a lot of people thought it was a kidney infection. No, it's not a kidney infection, which actually kind of surprised me because I thought I had one. But I thought I it don't. was a kidney infection. Anyways, yeah, it's just I don't want people to use this against me. I don't want people to make fun. So if it has nothing to do with your weight and you sit on here and you exclaim that people use your weight against you all the time, then that to me implies that the diagnosis, if it wasn't actually about your weight, you would feel okay with saying on camera, just like you say everything else on camera. So to me, that means that it is about your weight. That means that the diagnosis directly correlated to your weight. So it's probably something like cellulitis or some kind of a hygienic issue because the last time she came on here and went to the ER, it was because she wasn't cleaning herself properly and she got that belly button infection. Now, it is shocking to me that someone her size isn't actively trying to stay as clean as possible because cellulitis and things like that are incredibly common when you are that big and you have an immunocompromised body already and you have lymphedema and all of that stuff like it can happen like that it can happen quickly and it can happen and it's terrible and if it's something that is deadly and it's something that is deadly to her then that is some that's where my brain is going now is it's cellulitis i <sighs> 
I don't know. Just admit it. Like, if you want to come on here and be this, like, advocate and, like, you said people are on here wanting to know what it's like to be 600 pounds and how to, like, have proper hygiene, then wouldn't it make sense to come on here and be like, look, I'm 600 pounds. I can't clean myself how I'm supposed to. And I end up getting cellulitis. And it makes me go to the ER. I feel like that would be more real. Tell me about it. Like, it's something I'm going through and it could very well be deadly. So I have to take care of myself currently send all the prayers and just all the jesus good vibes and that's all sh good I vibes that so much but you know about the vibes you know about the fucking vibes okay shoddy you know about the vibes if you know what i'm talking about you know what i'm talking about saying my diagnosis isn't going to change anything and oh my god i appreciate so many of you for messaging me saying you know i shouldn't have to say what's wrong with me and the people who truly care are the ones who understand why I didn't say anything. If you First of all, Amberlynn, real talk, none of these people truly care. Like, the people that truly care about you should be your family and friends, and it sucks that you don't really have those people. And it, to me, it implies that, like, if it wasn't for YouTube, then I honestly think that she would think that she has no one that really cares about her. If you guys go down in the comments, you'll see it's just nothing but vile vile people but just why is that people down there why is that why are all these people gravitated to you why did all of these people turn on you see that's the thing is she never really fully encapsulates why her channel is the way it is she just implies that like like all of a sudden one day we woke up and we all decided collectively to come on here and like just out of the whim we just picked a fat girl out of nowhere and we decided to like decimate her character like no dog you did this systematically to yourself it was a slow erosion of you being a manipulative narcissist and people finally coming to terms with exactly who you are and now you have the audience that you have by your own doing no one else People, bef far before people were making reaction videos to you, were already upset with you. You can go back three years, four years, where you were getting half liked, half disliked ratings on your videos. People already were already fed up with you then. So now people are even more fed up with you. And that is your fault. No one else's. And it's just sad that I have to deal with that. But that's what I get. No one feels bad for you. YouTube. I don't feel and bad for her. It's just how it is. For now and i think it sucks that majority of it comes from a lot of resentment people have built because of why me, because why of the things i've done in the past yes years ago and literally the gofundme scam was a month ago like let's not pretend that this is way in your rearview mirror and it's like, I just... And you've never atoned for the things you've done in the past. I've never once come on, heard you come on here and ever say, I'm sorry. I've, you're, li you're like Gabby. Like, I, I, that, that comparison is, like, very... It's very true to me. Like, y'all are narcissists. People would let things go, honestly. Because I've let it go. So I would like, never... I'll never let someone like, come on here never have pretending to be a, a rape victim. I will never let that go. I feel like you came on here and tried to destroy someone's character. It just kind of sucks. Update is, I'm feeling a little bit better. I'm taking the medicine they told me to take. I'm trying to rest and do the best that I can. As opposed to what? And, and yeah, I just when don't you rest? Messages so much. I really, really do. So thank you. So. Wow. One and a half days ago, <laughs> I just bought hella Christmas presents. Jesus. And they're already here. Thank God for Prime. So, oh my God. Hey guys, so it's the next day. I feel like we meet here way too often. Because this, this is like all you can do. This is it time. for you. Okay, you either so sit on the, on the mattress, sit at the table, or you sit in your bed. Way or you sit big. in the car. It looks crazy. This so is I'm your life. Cool. Some friends are coming over. I think we're going to grab a bite to eat. Of course, we're going out to eat again. Always out to eat. Little outfit of the day. I'm wearing this really cute dress. I've only worn it one other time. Got from Torrid a little cardigan, even though it's freezing outside, but that's okay. Because you can't wear a jacket um, that fits. I got this from also Torrid. I'm pretty sure Torrid or Walmart. Everything's from Torrid because you don't right? fit in Walmart anymore. <laughs> Torrid's so much better. But um, it's yeah. all you can fit in. My rash is pretty much gone. Got a little update on that. That's doing it. So to me, the the clearing up of her rash or whatever, to me, I honestly think it has to do with whatever infection she has going on in her body. 
because it seems to me that as soon as she started taking these antibiotics, she's going to call it medications. They're antibiotics. They're probably some heavy duty antibiotics too. They're like, there's not some di doxycycline. I bet they're probably like, they're pretty buff. So, um, yeah, I think the rash had a lot to do with whatever, if it was a secondary infection to whatever the, um, the, fir the primary one was. Thing. Um, I'm actually feeling a lot better today. I do have some dark circles because yeah. I'm not getting much sleep. I will say that. My sleep has been pretty bad. I'm constantly waking up. I only slept about five hours. Oh, my God. Like only five hours? Only? Oh, poor baby. Continuous, like, waking up Jesus. cycles. Because you have Y'all, sleep apnea. Look how many trees. Trees. Leaves. Holy shit. All of that. Back All of that stuff Ricky's going to have to rake up because no one else in that house is going to do it. Or maybe Eric will now that he's like being more um, proactive. But Becky and Amber Shrake ain't going to help pick that up. There. All of this is leaves. That's Oh, my God. It's like crazy. It's like nature. Look at this. <laughs> she is so amused by like some of the most like, yeah. yeah have you guys ever watched Great help. To, like Great help jump in a pile of leaves that, that would be the world you'd have to jump in a pile of me of leaves so the size of mount everest in order to brace your impact eating. oh chinese oh, restaurant pot stickers potatoes broccoli jesus this is oh, not a good eating. angle it was delicious oh she is struggling so, struggle well, bus it's time to go grocery shopping <laughs> It's so all food, dude. Kroger, which is where I prefer to go. These are so pretty. Looking. Becky actually looks a lot smaller. So whatever Becky's doing is working. I'm surprised that Amber hasn't followed suit at all. Look at them hanging. That's cute. Some little tiny trees yonder. <laughs> I love how she's allowed to film anyone in public, but not anyone else. Christmas. Christmas is everywhere. In the scooter. My favorite time of year. Look how cute those are. You oh need God. to be walking more. You guys, I found the pet. Get costumes. yourself a walker. For Halloween. You're too young. I mean, Halloween. That's over with. Christmas. I was just saying Christmas. <laughs> Look how cute. A little mm -hmm. elf. Be a little Santa. What's this? Touch. Reindeer. Touch. Oh my gosh, I kind of want to get one for Twinkie. But she's at such a weird size that medium is way too big for her. And small can fit, but sometimes it's a little tight. Yeah, because she's obese. So here's a small. <laughs> Becky, do you think this would fit Twinkie? Oh, no. Really? But the medium's too big. You can get it, but it won't fit her. Becky is so I over her shit. That Becky is over. Oh, look I at those poor people. I hope you sue Amber Lynn. That's a small. So... Call the police. I don't know. I think maybe this material might not be appropriate for her. Which I mean, I couldn't imagine walking cute. around and seeing this like woman. I would lose my mind. So I'd be like, oh my flour. God. And then I'm also going to get some of these frozen whole grain rice. Because as you guys know, I'm not much of a cooker. So. You're not much of a many things. So so Nothing but frozen processed salmon. foods. So I'm going to get me some seasoning. It's like you have nothing but time to like make and prepare yourself some delicious, healthy meals. And you just choose not to. All of this is a choice. Like you don't work. Neither of you work. Only one person in that entire house works. Hire Eric to cook for you. Then grilled salmon. Well, it says barbecue seasonings. Okay, maybe not. I'm not really into like barbecue. Girl, sometimes like it I would am. stop you. Sometimes I'm not. There used to be one that I really, really love. Oh, wait. Garlic and butter? Let me check on that right there. Okay, so I looked at it and it's actually. Perfect. It, none of this fucking matters, dude, so because you're gonna still go out to eat a couple one. times a day. There, so that's good for two and meals. then get home and eat and this. It's super easy to make. You literally preheat the oven, you place the bags, it comes in like a bag. And then you bake it and you carefully open it and oh my, oh my god thank you for reading the instructions so out to us so my favorite type of lunch meat is chicken and instead of getting like the 
um, pre-packaged or whatever, I decided to come to the deli and they already have some like already sliced and the deli's closed and there's no chicken. Oh my God. So whatever will we do? Stick with the good old oven roasted turkey breast, which I guess I can try. I'm going to like grab one from the back because I'm going to be making wraps. Yeah, right. She what? she goes into this with good intentions, but we all know how this is going to end. Amberlynn has no idea how nutrition works. She has no idea how to properly sustain any kind of weight loss. So it's like until she actually sits down and actually heeds the advice of a doctor who specializes in morbid obesity, she's never going to be successful. I just she just won't be. I just know it. And I mean, you're like, how do you know? And it's like, because unless you actually sit down and work a program and you follow through with it when you're this size, it's never going to work, dude. It's never going to work unless you're really sitting down with a specialized team of people to really help you achieve your goals. And I don't even think Amberlynn knows what her goals are. She's just trying to do this for camera. This is all for show. This garden vegetable flour tortilla. So... Hopefully that'll taste good together. Probably so not. If you guys ever want pasta and you're like, don't listen really to this girl. If like you're trying or, to eat, don't do you know, anything this girl does. Busy life. They have these already cooked pastas. I've never tried this brand, which is Kroger, but I have tried the Barilla. And I just want to say they're actually really good. The only thing is, the ingredients are a little different than regular pasta. I am so ready for these bruises to be gone. These are the two spots where they couldn't get my blood to be taken. But this arm. I'm so, yeah. You got a bruise. Wow. Shocker. It happens. And the girl who did this one didn't see a vein. She could feel it. And she actually, oh. She could feel it. <laughs> Are you judging me? Becky's like, shut <laughs> up, she dude. Didn't see. She's probably had to sit here and listen to this woman moan and groan about these bruises for the past week. The um, vein, she felt it while the girl who tried to do this arm. Oh, she had two nurses working on her? Sight. So I guess everyone does a different. What bit? Oh, wow. I mean, they go by a multitude of things fat in the area um, where veins usually are sight feel i mean if you're fair skinned enough you can practically see the veins but you're so big and your veins are probably so deep down there but it's like i doubt she could feel it that nurse whoever that nurse was needs to get a bonus she needs to get he or she needs to get the world's biggest christmas bonus for finding an iv in you i'm surprised they didn't do it in your well they wouldn't have done it in your foot maybe your hand i mean i've seen them do it in people's necks those are intense you think you think you've seen some shit wait until you see someone get an iv to put in their neck those are intense. Okay. <laughs> but, um, yeah, we have a whole bunch of pillows right there. I keep it right there because when the fan's on at night, the, this, um, shade clinks. Clinks? Is that the word? Yeah. Against the window. <laughs> against the window. Mm -mm, nope. And I can't sleep. Well, you so have, like, four industrial-sized fans blowing on you guys. We have tried everything, uh, that's super annoying. But yeah, what I wanted to say is I'm just ready for these bruises. To I want to find a man as dedicated yellow, to me good. as Amberlynn's bra has been Why dedicated to her for these past so 12 years. Yikes. Look at that over there. <laughs> Jehovah, let it happen, please. <laughs> oh, look at the baby. That's a special <laughs> size. Eric, how you doing? Eric's over it. Doing good, eating top ramen. Amberlynn was complaining that it's not the greatest, you know, compared to. How do you pronounce it? Marichon? Mar 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 what is it, babe? Amberlynn, you got a beer palate. No one cares about what you think. I wish I would have vlogged my food, but I had oatmeal and an omelet with spinach. So you just showed them an empty fork. How nice of you. Because I was hungry! I mean, whatever. There's a sriracha, bottled water, the more bottled water. I'm so glad you went out and got that water filtration device. Just in the bedroom today, huh? Yeah. Oh, it's, it's just yeah. been chilling in there. What? Second horse for Andon. Have you discussed your thoughts? With you? She has. Yeah. I don't want to hear it I again. Said, um, I loved it. And I said, so did Eric, which is weird because he wasn't so sure about it. I guess good. 
I get skeptical with how they answer. I can't talk. <laughs> I get skeptical because they usually will end it very badly. You have to admit that. Yeah, they did really good this time. See, there's literally the filtration thing right there. And everyone's still using bottled water. What about you, babe? Except for Becky. Yeah. I thought it was a really good episode. The ending. I was, um... She is, is talking. talking. She loved it, too. It she probably hurts her to, like, sit up there like that and have all her weight on her back legs. Um... The whole time, I didn't know how I felt about the season. Just the mattress is just always in the living room now. It's just a permanent fixture. With no sheets on it. She does this every time. Nothing. She wants to crawl across the table. That snail trail on that mattress is probably disgusting. We done did taught you. Look at that tail. You done? But yeah. Oh. I didn't know how I felt about the season the whole time, but they're at the last. Even Twinkie is over it. Well, the episode before it was okay. Mm -hmm. but that that poor dog. Episode, I'm glad the way it ended. Yeah, and Emma Roberts was hot. <laughs> she was very pretty, but when it was she? It's Amen. Thank you for saying that. Wait, what? I said she's very pretty, but when yeah. it was she? I agree. Sorry, I was paying attention to Twinkie. You want to go potties? Oh, she potties? only gets to go out one time. That's oh. it. Well, there we go. She probably never gets to go outside. Oh, so. Okay. Oh. You guys, I got my birch box. And I now she's getting care. birch box too. I don't care. How much birch money is she spending box. every month birch on these box. subscription Ooh, boxes? The box is adorbs. Look how cute. I love finding out what the box looks like. Like you could literally save these boxes for anything. They're sort of cheap. I... And then that's what the cute little this looks like. Tissue paper. All right. Let's do this thing. We got our... She was literally just on here talking about a rash from using the stuff that she's never used on her face before. And she's getting birch box now. Self. God. Boy, all in one milk. Milk. It's milk. a multi-benefit beauty milk. treatment. Okay. Is there like instructions? Yeah, it's on yes. this little sheet oh, this in the really box. Hair. Controls frizz. I think Eric needs this. Wow, really? What a bitch. No, I have super frizzy hair, as you guys know. Um, so that's really cool. You don't so do. Like. You do not have we frizzy hair, girl. It's slicked back from all the grease. By the same people. So it's O I, which. Oi, I don't really know. Um, so it's absolute beautifying shampoo and absolute beautifying conditioner. These are so, so I boring. Sure. I kind of get nervous trying new conditioners and shampoos. Besides, things you just get nervous using conditioner and shampoo in your hair. Period. You get that's why you don't take showers and that's why you get infections. Things that I know. Besides things. Can we I skip some of this? Because I honestly don't care. Weightier. Probably pronouncing that wrong. So I'm gonna Most likely. It looks like. Ooh, it's a cute little nude. I am always here for a nude moment. Since when? I love you usually that. wear red. It's so pretty. And I have had people say, "Oh my God, you have all that makeup. You're a hoarder." Yeah, you I are. Don't have a lot of makeup. I'll show you guys in a future vlog, like I promise. And a lot of people are saying, like, "Why do you have so much makeup and you don't wear it?" It's because my face had a very bad allergic reaction, so I need to let it breathe. And do its thing or else like it's just gonna get worse here we have ipkn you're a hoarder days. this is a veggie extract extract what's an extract an extract effectively extract away all dead skins oh my god my face is so dry right now this would be perfect see I'm nervous about trying face stuff, though. Then why are you subscribed to a box of, like, facial stuff and, like, beauty products? That makes no sense to me. That's like being allergic to gluten and then being subscribed to, like, a monthly bakery thing where the, all they do is produce, like, the most glutinous baked products. And then being like, I don't know if I should eat it. I, am, I have celiac disease. Like... You just shouldn't use things like that then. If you are, if your skin is so prone to allergic reactions and stuff like that, then you should just stick to what you know. Oh, 
since my allergic reaction happened. Um, God, are we? Is in, is allergic reaction gonna be like, like the new stare thing? So perfect. We're gonna hear about this oh, for the next okay. couple of months. Okay, I was reading the back and it says do not use on damaged or broken skin. I feel like my skin is a little damaged from my allergic reaction, so maybe I won't be trying that. She should see so a real dermatologist cool to see about getting that wart it is removed. A mineral sunscreen. And there's like a matte tint. I mean, she has the money to see a real dermatologist. Right now, since it is fall, fixing to be winter coming up here. So I don't really know if I need that. So I guess I can save it if it doesn't like expire. So the last thing we have this gold little number. I like the packaging of Wonder it. Wonder Beauty Mile High Club Volume and Length Mascara. Whoa, this is mascara? Whoa. Oh, wow. It is. I've never seen a Do you think they were going to lie to you? <laughs> They're going to label it as mascara and you're going to pull it out and it wasn't going to be mascara or something? Mascara in a, like a container like this. Like, look. Yeah, because it's a sample. Dun, dun, dun. It's like this type of thing. Like how you get ointments or whatever. I've only ever seen like hard plastic. Mascara Deep breaths. So I'm actually like feeling super nauseous for some reason. Oh, sick again. I'm just like not sure why. So are we going back to the I'm ER? ER trip number three? And then end this vlog. Oh, here we go. So we're going to paste it in. Here we go. Here we go. Like always. <laughs> so the last vlog I uploaded is emergency room visit. Something is wrong. So I'm going to let this load and I'll see you guys here in a sec. Oh, and might I add, we have 6,100. Yeah, because you clickbaited your pages. emergency room visit. One of the most that I've seen. Because you're an asshole. Okay. This should be interesting. So you can blast everyone else's business in your video, but when it comes to you, you don't want to talk about it. Yikes. Yeah, I don't know dude. What business you're talking about? Oh, I don't know. Um, Destiny's mother's um, in issues with a pregnancy. Um, she talked incessantly about your ex and his living arrangement. Um, I mean, there's a multitude of things that you have come on here and overshared with people. But when it comes to you, you somehow want privacy and respect. But you've never displayed that to anyone else. If I ever say anything personal about someone or just anything about someone in general, I usually always talk to the person before, especially if it's not. Nope, that's not true. Someone messaged Destiny's mom about that, and she had no idea that you were going to come on camera and talk about all of that. So that's a lie. Something serious, because I don't do that. I don't just blast people's business online um <laughs> yes you do dude a really good example of that is like there's a lot going on you know behind closed doors regarding becky and just like other people and yeah I her mom i yeah i've talked to the girl who's been talking yeah i know a little bit about that tea don't say anything about it because that's not my business um Regarding me, I you like to make them pick talk about a lot on my channel. Pick sides. And this is just one thing that I'm not really comfortable talking about. Um, I'm not saying that I'm never going to, but it's just I know now you want to be like vague. Who want to use things like this against me. Yeah, you see, you only want to use it to benefit you and to like make people feel sorry for you. But when people call you out on it, then it's people are against you. Like people are just reading the room for what they see. And they see you using your weight and your health and all these other things to garner sympathy and views for yourself. And people are over it. This is a wake up call that your body is giving up on you due to your weight. It's time to go on a diet. Girl. Um, I Andrew Padilla, 100% on agree. Um, yes, I do. Let's be real. Yeah, I, <laughs> yeah. She that that lie flew out of her mouth way too easy, and she realized how dumb she sounded. I'm not gonna go on a diet, is what I'm trying to say. This is a lifestyle change. <laughs> we even heard diets. this one, but dude, diet lifestyle. I'm so over this like whole thing about like diet culture and blah blah blah. You know, it's all about following through. Call it a diet. Call it a lifestyle change. Call it intuitive eating. Just follow through with something in your life. Something don't work they're not long they do work they work for a lot of people that's why people go on them lasting um and this has nothing to do with you refuse weight. to do any of the other things that encompass being a healthy about. person and losing weight though um let's reply to someone why she obviously doesn't give a 
Um, I do. You don't I give really it. Do. You don't care. Sounds horrible, but I wish the hospital was forced to keep her as an inpatient until they helped her get her weight down a good amount. Agree. That is not their job to do. Um, right, because you went to the emergency room. <laughs> like, yeah. But you should go to inpatient somewhere. I mean, if it exists for somewhere to go to get their weight to for someone to like save their life and lose a good amount of weight, if there's an inpatient near you, then please, by all means, stop, cancel all those subscription services and go check yourself in for a good six months and then come back to us and let us know what you learned, how you've gone to therapy, how you've learned to adjust your eating and to maintain and sustain some weight loss. They can't just keep you because you're a certain weight. I know they're being facetious, you idiots. They're saying sounds horrible, but I wish they meet. That means that they understand that a hospital cannot and would not do that. They're saying, I wish it happened. She's an idiot. She's Evelyn a literal idiot. Herself from her nearly death for nearing minutes. nearing. I mean, if that's the way you want to see it. Sure. Um, that comments unnecessary to be honest. I think that's someone replying to someone, but it doesn't show that for some reason mm -hmm. and i'm sure you're right sarah i'm sure it was very unnecessary <laughs> that probably that pro for all you know sarah could have been um defending a hater so you're an idiot okay, let's be honest um she is rotting alive <laughs> yikes no, can't say that i am <laughs> um s n l o l i k r okay that's interesting reply to someone reply to someone I wish they would take those dose. Off, you know, <laughs> dose. Um, dose instead of dose. That was just a mispronunciation on my part. Yeah, because like, you lack your pretty common for people. Your lack of of uh, challenging yourself and your brain and going out is like causing the deterioration of like basic logic, and you are losing reading comprehension skills. Well, to do that at a alarming rate. Amberlynn, when are you going to get some real help? Yeah. I don't need it as of right now. Oh, okay. Um, no need, need help. So like my health and stuff, which I do have that. You, you didn't need it when you went to the ER to seek the aid of all. See, that's the thing that gets me with her and like people like Chantel too is like they're so quick to not trust the um, information that doctors and nurses give them when it comes to how they can lose weight because they don't want to they don't ever want to be approached with any kind of hard truths but when it comes to saving their lives they're down they're totally down to hear what doctors have when they're in the er for eating cheese or having some kind of infection that is causing their 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 temperature to skyrocket now they want all of the doctors and all of their nurses to rally around them and and support them but when it comes to people giving them advice or giving them a diet to follow or if you don't want to call it a diet because it offends you a lifestyle to follow i mean god dude i can't that whole thing is so stupid but then when that happens they want to hear none of it they don't want any kind of advice they don't want anyone's input be it a medical professional medical professional or not so i just think it's interesting how they pick and choose when they want to listen to medicine right or a personal chef Ooh, that'd be nice. <laughs> I hate cooking um, because she wants the attention. 100%. Not. Um, do, why else would you do emergency room visits? Something is wrong. I definitely don't want attention. It's not that I want Ugh, The worst. You do have to realize, though, that being on YouTube, you want the views or else you wouldn't be on YouTube. You wouldn't upload the video to the internet unless you wanted views. Because if you were just making videos for yourself, you would never make them public. You have to think of it like that. So every single YouTuber. <laughs> oh my God. She like contradicts herself so much. The so much. They want the views. So you want the attention? Is that you didn't want it, but now you want it? And a lot of people understand that this is you have to clickbait and everything but when you clickbait and then you want to hold pieces of information back with things like emergency room visits or my diagnosis or whatever and then you and then you withhold information that's not okay like that's a whole that's a form of clickbait that turns into you being just an asshole do i want negative attention god forbid no but well, well that's all you get <laughs> it seems to she always a victim never takes any account of accountability for her actions and why her channel is in the state it's in she won't tell us the diagnosis because it's weight related 100 percent. 
It is not weight Guess what? When you are 600 pounds, any diagnosis you would get is going to be exacerbated by your weight. So it is weight related. Everything you getting a flu weight related, you getting a cold weight related because your super morbid obesity is going to incre increase your chances of those illnesses doing some kind of permanent damage to you. At all in the slightest. Um, that's what applies to someone. So I'm going to do one more. You should definitely look into something a little less toxic than Neutrogena. Just saying you're probably allergic to the junk, the wipes. Also, the deodorant is slowly killing you. Well, you're not healthy anyway, so I bet you, you don't, don't even care. care. Yeah. The deodorant is killing me. What? What? There's aluminum and antiperspirant deodorant. Um, it's been, I believe studies have led to like cancer diagnoses and um, I think, I believe I read one study and it was talking about Alzheimer's and how um, the aluminum in um, antiperspirant deodorants was linked to that as well. But I mean, then again, there's a lot of studies that come out that show a lot of links to things and there's no like concrete a evidence or concrete um, I, I can't think of the word but so that's what this person is talking about but I'm not surprised that like she's so dumbfounded by this um, revelation that is being portrayed to her in her comment section I'm just gonna ignore that sentence um, yeah you're an idiot me really well. um, I'm not allergic wouldn't a normal person go and like research that a little bit then like if you read that and you were like okay, this person is crazy, but you know what? Maybe I'll go and search it and maybe I'll learn something today. But not Amberlynn, no. Learn nothing. Stick to it at all in the slightest. It makes my face feel super soft. It smells good. Works very well. It was actually all May that broke me out. And that's the junk. That right there, all May is junk. Because it also did it to my friend recently. It's not junk. So that's a really weird coincidence. But anyways, I'm going to end this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Boring. Oh, so what did we learn? Amberlynn, of course, is going to use her health and her weight to clickbait her audience. I mean, that's a given at this point. Um, I just think it's a little ridiculous for her to be like, everyone's going to use it against me. Everyone's going to use it against me. Well, people have been telling you for a long time that if you continue at the rate you're going, this is what's going to happen to you. And guess what? It's happening now. We're here. We are here now. We're here at the at the stage where you're getting lymphedema at an alarming rate. You're getting infections at an alarming rate. And now you're going to the ER multiple times in the matter of 48 hours. And you just don't want to be, you just want a bunch of people saying, I told you so. I honestly think that's what it comes down to. She does not want to be told, I told you so. But you know what? Doctors, nurses, nutritionists, reactors, commenters, redditors, farmers, all of them have been saying that this is what you will get if you continue this behavior. And against all odds, you've proven them all right. And I honestly thought, I mean, I will admit, when I first started watching this channel, I thought she was going to get it together. But that's not the case. I don't see it happening for her. She does not see anything wrong. She lives in a delusion, a la-la land of reality that is not coincide with actual reality. And this is what you get. So with the YouTube being able to help her sustain this delusion, I don't see it happening. I don't see her changing her ways anytime soon. We've seen her go to the store and get these foods for her lifestyle change before. And she's still going to end up going to multiple She's going to keep going out to eat, eating bad food. The only people around her that are going to be successful with their weight loss are going to be the people who actually take time to see a therapist, see a doctor, see a nutrition, all of those people. And she just doesn't want to do it. She doesn't want to do the work because I think, honestly, Amberlynn likes living like this. And now that she's had these antibiotics and her infection's probably clearing up now, she's going to be like, see, I'm fine. But you know what? I've seen way more people be taken out, out by way less. So you know what? It is what it is. Um, I just want to say, again, thank you so much to Ryan for pretty much doing that whole merch store for me. I love it. I hope you guys love it, too. Um, if you end up buying stuff and it comes to you and you love it, take a picture of it, please, and like send it to me. I'll repost it. I'll love you forever. Um, please, 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 please. If you buy any of that merch and you love it, I want to see it. I want to see what it looks like. So... Um, without further ado, remember to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Michael B. Petty. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, toodles.